Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to tackle a common yet frustrating issue that many Windows users face, the ERR network changed error. These errors can disrupt your internet browsing experience and they're often seen on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. But guess what? We've got you covered with some easy fixes to get you back online in no time. Understanding the ERR network changed error. So first things first, what exactly is ERR network changed? Well, this error usually pops up when there's been a change in your network configuration on your Windows computer. This change can disrupt the connection between your browser and the internet, leaving you stuck. Now let's dive into how to fix this annoying issue. Common causes of ERR network changed errors. Before we jump into the solutions, it's essential we understand what could be causing the ERR network change error. It's often a result of misconfigurations, VPN software interference, or DNS problems. Each of these is relatively easy to address. Solution 1. Restart your computer and router. The first and simplest solution is often the most effective. Restarting your computer and router can help resolve many network-related issues. Here's what you need to do. Start by rebooting both your computer and your router. Now check if your internet connection is up and running, even if your browser was previously showing the error. Make sure you don't have any software VPNs active on your computer when you're trying to browse. VPNs can sometimes interfere with your network connection. If you're still encountering the error, it's time to move on to the next solution. Solution 2. Reset your TCP IP configuration. Now let's tackle a bit of the technical jargon. The internet relies on a set of protocols including TCP, IP to communicate and transfer data. If any of these protocols are causing issues, you might experience errors. Resetting TCP IP can often resolve this problem. To reset TCP or IP on your computer, open the start menu, type command prompt and run it as an administrator. In the command prompt, type net sh int ip reset and press enter. Once done, retest your internet connection using your web browser. In most cases, resetting TCP or IP resolves the issue by loading default network card settings. If resetting TCP IP doesn't do the trick, let's move on to the next solution. Check your DNS settings. If the previous solutions haven't worked, it's time to look at your DNS settings. Here's how you can do that. Open the start menu, type control panel and click on the application. Navigate to network and internet and select change adapter settings in the left pane. Right click your network adapter and choose properties. Highlight internet protocol version 4 and click the properties button in the window. If obtain DNS server address automatically selected, click use the following DNS and add 8888 and 8844 as the DNS servers. Click OK and retest. If you had DNS server specified, change the setting to automatic, click OK and retest. If the issue was related to DNS, this should fix it. However, if the error persists, we have one more solution up our sleeves. Reset your network card. Sometimes the ERR network change error is a bit more stubborn. In that case, we can try completely resetting your network card, forcing Windows to reload the configuration. Once again, open the control panel and navigate to network and internet. Select change adapter settings in the left pane. Right click your network adapter and choose disable. The icon should turn gray and you might see a lost network connection message. Don't worry, this is a part of the process. Right click your network adapter again and select enable. This will prompt Windows to reload the configuration. After that, retest your connection. In most cases, completely resetting the network card should resolve the ERR network change there. You'll know which method works best for you if this issue reoccurs. So there you have it. We've covered some easy fixes for ERR network change errors in Windows. Networking issues can be frustrating, but with these solutions you'll be back to browsing smoothly in no time. Have you encountered this error before? Did our solutions help you get back online? We'd love to hear your experiences and any additional tips you might have in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorials and helpful content like this.